Man, social media is abuzz with the outcome of this match, and the WWE Universe seems to be torn on a favorite. A raucous crowd on hand tonight for Money in the Bank. Thanks for joining us. I'm Michael Colin King. Who do you like to walk away from tonight as Mr. Money in the Bank? Oh, you're putting me on the spot early, Cole, and that's a tough one. I don't think I'm ready to make that prediction yet because any one of these guys could realistically win that briefcase. Absolutely, Michael. This one's going to be great. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. Over the course of his career, Nature Boy Ric Flair knew a thing or two about being a part of dominant faction. First in the 1980s as a founding member of the Four Horsemen, and then in 2003 as a cornerstone of the Triple H-led evolution. As we watch Finn Balor, let's get your take on him. What can we say about the challenger Finn Balor? He's talented, confident, and determined to rip that title from the champion's hands tonight. Whether he's successful or not, we'll know real soon. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. What a clothesline! He's still not through. King, you spoke about Ric Flair and his history of being a part of powerful groups. I don't know if anything will ever beat the Four Horsemen, but when you look at Evolution and the group's dominance in WWE, it becomes a real interesting discussion. One of these two will be walking out here as champion, while the other will be left to pick up the pieces. These competitors will always be looking to unleash their finishing maneuver, and when that happens, the complexion of the match can change in a heartbeat. You're right about that. The entire match can end in a heartbeat if somebody hits their big move. King, you spoke about Ric Flair. The four horsemen in Evolution both were so strong in their respective days of operation. Evolution is interesting to look at when you consider that from being in Evolution, Randy Orton and Batista both broke out on their own to create incredible singles careers. Yeah, you know, it looks like the key is Ric Flair. That if the Nature Boy is part of a group, it instantly becomes a dream team. I mean, it makes total sense. Flair was a champion as a single star and a tag team champion with different partners. So he knows the importance of being able to work together for a common good while still being the Nature Boy. Woo! Is that enough for the Nature Boy to pick up the win? I'll be surprised if it's not, Cole. Wow, he's still down after that. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Balor. In a relatively short amount of time, Finn Balor has managed to pick up some very impressive victories, wouldn't you say, John? I agree, Michael. This kid has opened up a lot of eyes with his work in the ring. For me, personally, quick pin. Hey, is this it? Uh, it may be. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. What a decapitating lariat. Adding insult to potential injury there. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. Oh! These are great competitors. Great, tremendous gladiators here in WWE. Some of the best superstars that WWE have to offer. Back to Finn Balor's victory over Neville at NXT TakeOver Rival. The Irishman really showed off a wide arsenal of kicks in that matchup. Unleashing it for the second time now. Look out, Ric Flair is measuring. The knee breaker, the end is near. <laughs> it's the end for those knees. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Look at those eyes. Somehow, he's kicked. Whoa, check this out. He might have been down, but not out. We've seen this before. Oh, I think. 
like this man means business. Cole, you mentioned Balor's arsenal of kick. He learned a lot of that coming up through the rugged dojo system in Japan. I don't know how much more damage he can take. Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. Nicely timed shot by Ric Flair. Uh-oh, the back of his head just bounced off the mat with that slam. Look at Flair zeroing in on his opponent with the precision of a fine craftsman at work. It's like the Nature Boy is going a mile a minute in there. Rick's always been revered for his superior cardiovascular conditioning. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. That shot hit the opponent exactly in the right spot. What accuracy. Finn Balor scores with a tremendous move. Covers. What a match! He's inflicting some serious pain here. Every muscle in that body is battered now. Oh my, look at this! Oh, that's it. That's gotta be it. Finn Balor. Now that's a finishing move, people. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. They're not holding anything back, and I love it. Right now, the momentum is with Finn Balor, and who knows when it'll stop. A singles title doesn't gain you instant entry into the Hall of Fame, but it sure gets you a whole heck of a lot closer. of this move is becoming deliberate at this point to say the least no kidding over and over and over again here we go here we go he's hanging on for dear life it's striking to me how in any contest involving rick flair and he keeps it what a win You want to talk about incredible high impact sports that there was no love left. And here's just some. Let's go to the highlights here. Here's your winner and still the NXT champion, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. He gets a victory here tonight. Love him or hate him, that was an incredible match. An incredible match and a big, big victory. I'll tell you what, Cole, I could watch those two go at it each and every week. What a match.